Hello friends, welcome once again to the channel IT Simplified. In today's video in Veritas, I'm here to show you how to deploy Backup Exec 20.4, which is the latest version on Windows Server 2019 Data Center Edition, and what are the new functionalities that they have added. So let's get started. Uh, I've already downloaded the uh, installation media, which is on my desktop, so go and right click. And I have this uh, file and I'll run this as an administrator. Pick the language that you want to use. You can go through the getting started page, but I will go and go and install product. In this case, it is backup exec. So let me go and select that. accept the licensing agreement. I want to do typical installation. Uh, if you want, you can have it customized too, but let's keep this simple. It does the environmental check. Go and select next. Uh, if you want to use, you can uh, put the entitlement ID or your uh, licensing file, but we will try this with a trial version. and click on install. So from now it is uh, deploying all the services that it needed for the server. And just to show you that uh, I am running this on the uh, 2019 data center edition, as you can see on the screen, right? So while this installation is taking place, let me just go to the Veritas website and I'm under the products. And you'll see that you have backup exec and that is where I downloaded this trial version from. And if you want to try, you get full functionalities 16 days to test this out so i'm pretty impressed with the way veritas has uh, uh, improved over the last four years since its separation from semantic and they're not only in backup exec but it's also in other products they have added a lot more new features which was missing i would say during the semantic days so i think that's a that's a really good thing not only they have added the new functionalities they have added a lot of new other products such as Information Studio, Cloud Mobility, Resiliency Platform, CloudPoint, uh, Information Map. So there, there are so many uh, things or so many new products that they have added. Uh, but just talking about Backup Exec because that's the topic right now. Already in this product, they, there are so many functionalities, so many features which are there. So whether you have your data which is on a physical environment, whether you're running virtualized workloads such as the uh, hypervisors such as VMware's Hyper-V, uh, you can use uh, Backup Exec to protect that. It has been doing this for a long time. You can have the data in multiple sites. You can control everything from one management console through the enterprise server. Now you can do that. Whether it's in private cloud or you have this uh, these workloads in the public cloud, you can do that. But what we see is that a lot of customers, they also have a a hybrid cloud so basically they're not still ready to move everything from on-prem to the cloud so they have some workloads in on-prem and they have also some in in public cloud whether it's in azure uh, in aws or gcp just to name a few of them you can still use backup exec to protect them along distributed uh, uh, sites also they have been protecting Microsoft uh, uh, applications and databases, so whether you have SQL, Exchange, SharePoint, Active Directory, Web Services, uh, uh, RDS services, uh, both on Windows as well as Linux workload, you'll be able to protect. And uh, some of the new functionalities that were added in the 20 version was uh, that uh, you can uh, instantly recover your virtual machine running on both VMware as well as Hyper-V and you can use uh, right from the management console of backup exec you can fail over your servers again running on both VMware as well as Hyper-V infrastructure 
uh, to Azure infrastructure and in the background it's all using Azure site recovery so everything can be controlled from one management console so a lot of functionalities are already there and uh, another good thing is a lot of customers they are trying to get rid of the tape infrastructure especially in the SMB environment uh, and the backup exec I think right from backup exec 16 days you can talk directly to the S3 storage if you're using AWS if you're using Azure blob storage you can do that too uh, even in this storage types there are different categories so say if you have a S3 you have the glacier which is for archival purpose and then you have a deep glacier uh, which is for long-term retention and similarly in Azure blob storage you have the hot tier cool tier and archival tier so all those uh, storage type and the tiers they are compatible uh, with the with the backup exec uh, versions so it's really rich in terms of functionality wise in case you want to utilize this and if you look at and if I scroll down and this is all available on the you know, veritas.com website you can see that uh, these are some of the new features so security has been always uh, you know forefront of a lot of customers mind uh, backup exec can uh, secure your data the data is encrypted while at rest or in transit but with the 20.4 version they have taken the security uh, to to uh, to the next level in which you get a further security and ransomware uh, protection from the ransomware attack so in case you have a you know if you if you know somebody who has gone through this uh, ransomware attack you can you can understand how painful it is but with the enhanced feature it will protect the data on um, uh, the disk based uh, storage attached to your backup exec media server and any uh, attempt to modify the data uh, from unauthorized processes will be prevented so that's a, that's a great new functionality that they have added great new features or new security enablement again if you're running uh, hyper v vms with this version it uh, it is basically saying that you have a 50% increased backup performance with the latest API integration. So another good win in case you're running the Hyper-V as an hypervisor. Plus you have uh, further taking to a different level the compatibility or uh, integration with the hyper converge environment. Uh, you see extended support for SMB3, SD2, scale out storage. And if you're running Hyper-V on Nutanix, uh, you, you also get uh, those supports too. But this, you have a fully certified and supported uh, Server 2019 edition from Microsoft. So Backup Exec, not only you can run uh, the, uh, or deploy uh, and protect your machines or application database running on the Microsoft Server 2019 edition, you can also deploy the Microsoft or the Backup Exec core license or the media server on uh, the latest uh, offering of server from Microsoft, which is 2019. Plus you get uh, storage visibility with smart meter integration. Uh, so it will help you to plan the capacity, what are the things happening within the environment with the smart integration, uh, right? You get a GUI based uh, uh, that API right within the backup exec console. Also, uh, further taking the support uh, for the Hyper-V uh, which was already there in the VMware uh, so, uh, support was already there in a way that in case you want to specify only which uh, disk attached to a specific VMs that you want to uh, bag it up you can specify that with this new version uh, and specifically for the Hyper-V environment which is again I think it's a lot of customers they were asking that support was already there in the VMware environment so if you're doing that uh, nothing changes you continue to use that functionality which was added uh, to, to the backup exec so a lot of new features I will say the biggest one is the ransomware attack and to prevent any unauthorized access to the disk space storage attack to attach to the backup exec media server API integration uh, for the Hyper-V to improve your backup performance, to specify what disk you want to backup in the Hyper-V VMs uh, or the VHDs, uh, uh, hyperconvergence uh, integration. So all those functionalities are there uh, that, you can, uh, that you can utilize. So I see a bit of a blinking happening. So this is normal. This is the uh, 
the deployment which is taking place in the background so let me just minimize this and we are almost uh, we are almost there so let's just wait for a couple of minutes before we see what we see we already got the uh, backup exec veritas uh, logo right on our desktop so just let's wait for this installation to get completed The installation was done successfully so I'm just going to now open the console so it's connecting to the local host and uh, you get the default page what are the new functionalities so whatever I have talked about right the ransomware resiliency uh, the support for resilient changes tracking uh, it also integrates the office 365 so Veritas has backup is used for protecting your O365 G Suite and Salesforce online workloads. So if you're running any of those SaaS workloads, you can do that. And with Backup Exec, you get a uh, uh, trial version for that. So free trial for is available for Backup Exec customers. So that's another good thing. And you also get the GRT or granular recovery uh, technology for SharePoint Server 2016. So all those functionalities which I talked about is there. You can go through this, but I'm going to close. And uh, if I expand configuration settings and go to the local server properties, you'll see that uh, uh, I have 20.4. Right, so all those uh, functionalities are there. And if you're using for the first time, you'll find this management console uh, very, very interactive, right? Everything is right in front of you. You can go to the backup exec settings. You can go login accounts, the one that we created, backup exec servers, which are running, right? And uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty straightforward, right? Let me just further go. You can install the agents and push the agents, uh, the machines that you're trying to protect. You can also upload your licensing file after the uh, trial version is uh, successful. So everything that you can see is uh, able to be configured right from the management console. I hope you found this video on uh, 
uh, backup exec2d.4 deployment useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.